This video is a quick walkthrough of configuring the common elements of sources. Starting at the sources screen, you can see all of the sources that Logstream can be configured for out of the box. Each one is going to have attributes unique to that source, but in this video, we're going to focus on common configuration attributes for all sources. We're going to create a syslog input because it's one of the simpler ones. So we'll click on the syslog icon. This will show us any existing syslog inputs and allow us to add a new input by clicking the Add New button. The attributes that are common across all sources are ID, which is a name to be used for the input. The fields are metadata section, which allows you to add metadata to the event in the form of additional fields. A conditioning pipeline is a special kind of pipeline that can be used to normalize events before they get to the routing engine. So we'll add an ID, And I'll put in the standard ports, 514, TCP, and UDP for syslog. Although I know that I'm now going to have to run as root because those are privileged ports. We'll also add a field named cribble host to show the log stream host that received the data via the JavaScript expression cos hostname. This calls the hostname function in the OS package. And then we have a syslog conditioning pipeline that sets a source type field based on the data. So we'll add that, which will make filtering easier down the line. Click Save, and we're done. And don't forget, if you're in a distributed environment, you also have to commit and deploy the changes. Thanks for watching.